Hi there guys and welcome back to another video. As you've seen in the last video, managed to lower this thing a lot more and get it on some nice new wheels. You guys did seem to actually quite like these wheels. So thank you very much for that. These popped up on Facebook Marketplace and I jumped straight on them. And to be honest with you, I'm, I'm loving them. I'm very surprised how well they come out. So brilliant, thank you. And also did realize I'm taller than my own van. And I'm not a very tall guy, so that's an extra win. Um, I have actually spoken to a friend in the past. I see the picture well early on when I got this van, and I said I'd love to be as tall as my own van. Yeah, didn't think I was going to do it until I went on to hydros, but managed it. But that's not what today's video is all about. Today we've got a few bits and bobs to do. Um, as I do them, I will tell you about them, but... If you followed me for a while, you know that I've been struggling with an oil leak. Well, the oil leak's still not gone away. Got myself a few O-rings for that filler, oil filler neck. Because I'm pretty sure that is where it's coming from. And went out and got some parts cleaner. So we can give it all a good clean. That way, when it does leak, or if it does leak again, we'll be able to tell where it's coming from. At the minute, I'm struggling to get it clean because it is filthy underneath there. So I'm going to give it a good clean. But... I will show you a bit better, but it is definitely still leaking. Can't get you under it too well, but everything is still caked in oil. So I'm going to see if that fixes it or not. I do need to have a look at my DRLs because apparently they're not working at the minute. Handbrake cable snapped. Got a few odds and ends to do, but as you can probably see, I'm not really dressed for the occasion. So... Let's do a little bit of that YouTube magic. Well, that was easy. If only it was always that easy. Well, first things first, what we need to do is give this a clean and we are going to have to raise it up because there is no way I'm getting underneath there to work. So, let's get this pig in the air. Well, that was a horrendous idea. Let's use the jack, jack it up from underneath to be able to get them underneath and in the process I have ripped my bumper off yay easily fix that it's just that screw that's not a problem but what I did notice while I was doing it is it's back there now we had a nice little runoff of something and it was running all the way down the auxiliary belt so somewhere up there And I don't know where we have a, a leak. I don't know where it's coming from. I think probably the best thing to do now, pull this front end off, get the intercooler off, delve into this a little bit better. So, hopefully that's a good enough view for you. Inside my own get this done. world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles Profanities Well, intercooler's off, party trick's done. Didn't take too long, couple of bolts. But the reason we're here, all of this gungy oil crap is absolutely everywhere again. But my rocker cover is, is all, it seems like it is coming from the oil fill. I have got these two seals which are going to go underneath the neck and the breather. And hopefully that's going to seal it. So I'm going to get all this lot clean, I think. Put this lot to work. And see how well it will do. So, this is how it looks. And here's the after. I'm going to give everything as good a clean as I can. And it does look like it's all coming from around here, around this filler neck area. even gone underneath give it a bit of a clean underneath here as best i can i've used pretty much a whole can doing this i'm gonna let everything dry up real quick probably do some shopping on ebay and have one of these because why not so i'll catch you in a sec 
So all we need to do now, take these bolts out. There's what, one there, one there, one there, and there's one underneath this breather. Get them out and then put those new seals in. That's the aim of this game. Well, there's our bad boy out. I mean, one of the O-rings is somewhere, but I think that might be the culprit. Don't know, hope so. If you can remember last time I put a little bit of silicone all over, oh, there's the O-ring. It's uh, just chill in there. Yeah, I put a little bit of silicone all over it, just to try and help. Clearly didn't, so I need to get all that lot cleaned up, but I mean, from everything I've seen, that's where it looks like all the oil's coming from. So we're gonna give this lot a clean, get those O-rings, or oh, clean all this, get all those O-rings on it. Hopefully, that's gonna be our fix. So, wish me luck. And all back together again. All the pipes back on, everything needs to be where it needs to be. All my tools are off. So, I think, what we should do is just run it and see if any oil comes out. Hmm. I'm guessing yes, it will, because I don't have a lot of luck with this. What I might do is leave that running for a little while. Um, I need to put some more oil in it. In fact, I need to give it an oil change, really. Well, it's been a little while longer, and. No oil leaking from there but still leaking. Turn that off, that's way too loud. But we've still got an oil leak. I don't know where it's coming from, but this is definitely still leaking from somewhere. You can probably just about see it dripping. Got a nice little wet patch there. It's all the way wet up there. It's coming from that pipe. One injector the other injector that pipe's leaking fuel so i've also got a fuel leak i'm about halfway through doing the drls so the oil fill is fixed but i still have another leak from somewhere bumpers fixer thanks fuel leak well i made an executive decision which i don't want to be doing but i'm going to put all the timing off again Get underneath all this lot and try and find out what the hell that oil leak is and where it's coming from because I am sick to death of leaving little oil patches absolutely everywhere. So I'm going to pull it all off, see if I can figure out where the hell it's coming from. This escalated quickly, I'm going to be honest. So I'm going to put you guys down. I'm going to crack on with that. I'll pick a camera up when I hopefully figure something out. So wish me luck. So all the pulleys are off and... It's all apart. As you can see, it is gungy as hell under here. I have removed that cover, which goes up there by the cam, dry underneath there. It's literally just wet up there, and down here. It seems more wet around here than anywhere else. So it's not coming from the cam, seal like I thought it might have done and that seal looks lovely all dry doesn't look like it's weeping anywhere I haven't cleaned it that's just how it looks I wouldn't say it's from there either so somewhere around here we have a leak I think the only thing I can do use some more of this stuff on it see if we can get it a bit cleaner See if we can figure out where this is coming from. I'm gonna do this. I'll see you in a sec. Well, this video is turning out to be extremely scrappy. So sorry about that. But, got it all clean underneath here. That's best I could do. Went round and just sprayed anything and everything. And, can't really see anything yet. So I think what I'm going to do is put it all back together again and run it. And see where I can see the oil from. Because it's clean now, I should be able to tell very quickly. 
And go from there, I guess. Why? On a plus, it's nice and dry at the top still. Yay. I'm going to get this lot put back together again. <sighs> Eventually, we're going to get this oil leak sorted. But until then, let's keep looking for it. Hopefully, you guys are going to hear me, but as you can hear, I've got it running again. Just want to be able to run it just long enough to be able to see if I can see where that oil leak's coming from. So it's not going to be running for long, not everything's back on again, but it's just enough so I hopefully can get enough of a cycle and yeah, see if I can figure out this oil leak situation. I haven't even got the auxiliary belt on, so it's not going to run for long anyway. So yeah, catch up in a sec. Well, as you can see, turned it off and we have got the oil coming from up there somewhere. Where the hell is that coming from? Can you see it's all coming all the way down. Drippy drip drip. So, here's the belt. I don't know where that is. Coming from up. Where is that coming from? Well, today has been an absolute fail. Was men to just literally do that oil thingy on the top, which does work. Those little O-rings, these are absolutely shot, to be fair. So, and yeah, managed to fix the DRLs. I was meant to fix the rear caliper because the, in fact, I'll show you. That there, that's the rod that goes from the bit off the handbrake down to the wire and then the bit that goes from that to the caliper completely snapped so i need to get a new one of them i think i actually do have a spare cable for that side because i did replace the whole thing if not i know a guy who has got one so that was supposed to be today's plan but ended up chasing my tail i think i might have actually find where the oil leaks come from i will insert a clip here that i did literally just have it running and filmed it it does look like it's coming out of that hole no idea why that hole's there or what's supposed to be in it but that's where it looks like it's leaking from so i need to try and find a way of plugging that if any of you guys have got any sort of knowledge please let me know because i am sick to death of this oil leak and leaving crappy little stains everywhere i mean look my neighbors must love me <sighs> never mind so that's fixed, they're fixed, this is not fixed, handbrake's not fixed, so I have to do the job, but that's it for tonight. I need to try and get this back off the jack ramp things without ripping my bumper off again. I got work in the morning, and then, yeah, oh, what a pain in the ass. So yeah, that was fun, I mean, I absolutely love these wheels and the interaction I've had off of the Facebook, Instagram, and on here, of people saying they like it, I'm, yeah, blown away by it. Thank you very much, guys. I'm glad you like them. I love them. I'm just a bit disheartened because I found an oil leak, possibly, and fixed it, sort of, not really. So it's just a pain in the ass. But I love those wheels. I can't stop staring at it. Eventually, I want to get out and take some nice pictures for the Instagram and what have you. If you're not already following me on Instagram, it's the same as YouTube. Prance Project. So just go over there, you get sneak peeks of what I'm actually up to before I post on here. So yeah, jump over, give me a follow. Why not? Anyway, I'm going to get myself gone. I'm going to tidy up, sort my life out. <sighs> and then get ready for work in the morning. Whoop, whoop. Anyway, thank you very much guys for watching. Thank you very much for all the interaction and support. Absolutely love this. It's, it's amazing. Thank you guys. But if you like this video, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you're not, you subscribe, go ahead out, subscribe. Take it easy.